Chapter 51 Returning with a cloud of dust you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Young Chen's keen nerves had him immediately start the car, and step on the accelerator. The M3 roared as it dashed out of the basement car park. Several of Yulei International security guards stared blankly at the silhouette of the car disappearing off into the distance, and looked amongst themselves in confusion. None of them knew which of the big figures in the company had such skill in driving cars. While driving, Yang Chen asked, What happened, Wang Ma? The moment Miss got off work and returned home, Master came, and they're now quarreling outside, Wang Ma spoke with a sobbing tone, Young Master please hurry on back, Master even brought a large number of people back, they don't seem like good people, I'm afraid that they will harm me, before Wang Ma finished speaking. A knocking noise came from the other side of the line. Immediately after, a familiar male voice entered Yang Chen's ears. You're the stinking brat with the surname Yang Wright. I am Lin Kuan, I'm right here waiting for you. If you have the guts come here at once. Yang Chen's hand which was holding the steering wheel immediately had its veins pop out, he could clearly hear Wang Ma's wailing on the other side of the line. It was obvious that her phone had been forcibly snatched away. Do you know what you are doing? I'm very clear of it. You with the surname Yang, if you have the guts, get over here now. I want to see what abilities you, a mutton skewer selling bastard have that made my Lin family's little slut do such unfilial things. Yang Chin didn't speak further, he expressionlessly cut the call. Fact is, if this phone wasn't a gift from Lin Ruashi, he might have already crushed it into pieces. In a flash the accelerator was floored, although it was peak hour with highly congested traffic, the roaring engine made a substantial number of cars obediently give way. The white BMW blew past like a hurricane, provoking a countless number of rebukes, but all of these didn't matter to Yang Chen. At that moment, in Yang Chen's eyes there was only a straight path, there were no traffic laws, no traffic lights, what he wanted was speed, speed and more speed. On the route which usually required more than 20 minutes, Yang Chen, like a missile, had spent less than 10 minutes to reach his destination. In front of the villa, the car came to a screeching halt, throwing up a cloud of smoke and dust. BDNV at that moment, it was already dusk. The waning golden light scattered across the spacious and top-grade villa area of Dragon Garden. This caused the trees to reflect a hint of red, while causing the grass to appear like a river of gold, and the landscape to be exceptionally beautiful. But Yang Chen simply didn't have the mood to appreciate this rare view. After getting out the car, he walked towards the villa's main door with a grave expression. Before Yang Chen had reached the door, it was vigorously opened. The figure of Lin Kuan, with an upright posture and in a suit came walking out, his face that originally looked smart and mature instead seemed shady and excited in this moment. It was as if he could foresee that he would be able to take revenge against Yang Chen for the humiliation he brought onto him. Behind him were five young men that wore identical clothing, black tight short dot sleeved shirts. From their bulging muscles it wasn't difficult to tell that they had unordinary combat skills. Ha <laughs> ha. Bastard, you really have the guts to come back here, I thought you were frightened to the point of being too afraid to return. Lin Kuan slanted his head, raising the corner of his eye. His eyes revealed deep hatred from within. Yang Chen sighed. It seems like my temperament has indeed mellowed. Otherwise, simply based on that line of profanity from him, there would have been enough reason to slice off his tongue. Unenthusiastically, he stared at Lin Kuan and asked, Where is Ruashi and Wang Ma? The moment those words were spoken, two figures walked out from the villa's door. Young master, young master be careful. By the door, Wang Ma who was wearing an apron supported the pale dot faced Lin Ruashi out. Lin Ruashi hadn't changed out of her office clothing, it was like her cool and radiating pretty face had lost its soul. Her gaze was gloomy, her hair seemed messy, and she blankly stared at the floor without any focus, as if everything that was happening in front of her eyes was of no relation to her. If one was to say this scene of Ruashi made Yang Chen feel some pain in his heart, 
then the red handprint on Wang Ma's face instead made a murderous look flash through Yang Chen's eyes. It was a pity, Lin Kuan evidently didn't notice such a change in Yang Chen's expression. Brat that sells mutton skewers, let me tell you, since you returned here today, you asked for it. My brother's fists and kicks have no eyes, if you wish to receive less of a beating, then kneel on the ground and kowtow to me dozens of times, then lick my leather shoes clean, and obediently walk into the garbage bin. Perhaps I would let you off with that, and let you get lost. Lin Kuan laughed weirdly, his voice seemed to include traces of madness. Lin Kuan, Yang Chen raised his head, and coldly gazed at this insolent man in front of his eyes, I seem to have told you before, I as a person, hate being threatened the most. You can threaten me, but you better be prepared to bear the consequences of it. I'm threatening you. Bastard. What can you do? Do you have the ability to knock down these five brothers of mine? From anger into laughter, Lin Kuan roared out. Yang Chen didn't speak more, step by step he closed in onto Lin Kuan. The five hired thugs obviously didn't take Yang Chen seriously, after all, judging solely by appearance, this youngster simply didn't have the strength to retaliate. So when they saw Yang Chen approaching, only a single man walked forward, he looked at Yang Chen with contempt while walking towards Yang Chen. Yang Chen was too lazy to look at the black dot clothed man blocking the way, seeing the black dot clothed man raise his arms and swing his fist at high speed, as if it went through precise calculations, Yang Chen also swung a fist to receive it. Bam! The two fists collided, and a cracking sound actually came from it, but the result that emerged was something that left everybody present incomparably shocked. Ow! The man who took the initiative to raise his fists had a warped expression, he hugged the fist he swung, and kneeled onto the ground in pain. Hand, hand, bean-sized drops of sweat dripped down, the man actually felt that all the bones in his whole arm were smashed into pieces. After feeling the severe waves of pain from it, he fainted on the spot. Before the remaining four thugs seemed to have gained awareness of the situation, Yang Chen had already walked forward. Quickly. Quickly go up and fight. Lin Kun felt that something was amiss, and commanded them in a flurry. Only then did the four men fiendishly launch their kicks at Yang Chen, intending to bring Yang Chen down onto the ground. But when the four men's attacks landed on Yang Chen's body, they suddenly realized, it didn't matter whether the kick landed on Yang Chen's chest, stomach, thigh, or wherever, the attacks didn't even make Yang Chen's body flinch, as if their kicks landed on a thick and heavy iron plate, or a gigantic boulder, their strength was simply insufficient to cause any form of harm towards this monster. The four men immediately had their backs full of cold sweat. This fella, is his body made of steel. Yang Chen's gaze had been rigidly set on Lin Kun in front. After receiving the attacks, he casually raised his hands formed into the shape of knives. The four pitiful hired thugs basically didn't have any chance to launch another attack or jump away before they felt their vision turn blurry, every single one of them had their nape fiercely struck with a chop. What the others saw seemed to be just Yang Chen's figure gently wafting past, when the four originally healthy and robust men fell onto the ground, unconscious. At this moment, Lin Kuan feels a wave of regret bubbling inside him, however he doesn't feel that it is a mistake to take revenge against Yang Chen. He instead feels that he should have asked the person helping him for a few more helpers. Chapter 52 It's your turn you are listening at novelfull.audio. It's your turn. Yang Chen stood face to face with Lin Kuan, looking at Lin Kuan the same way a butcher looked at a piece of meat on the chopping block. Tranquilly he asked, do you want a broken leg or a broken arm? If you want to die, I could also help you with that. He isn't joking. Only then did Lin Kun react, because this was the first time he felt murderous intent from somebody's eyes, stark naked and true murderous intent. He will really kill me. You. You. Stay away, Lin Kun was afraid and slowly retreated trying to gain some distance from Yang Chen but behind him was the staircase and the villa's main door. Suddenly, Lin Kuan turned his head, 
looked at the blank and emotionless Lin Ruashi, and loudly shouted, Little slut. This wild man of yours wants to break your father's legs. Aren't you going to discipline him? Just after he said that, he felt a hand akin to a pair of steel pliers grip onto his chin. A voice so cold that it felt like metal that had been cooled in the snow traveled to his eardrums, your mouth really stinks, perhaps I should first cut off your tongue, put it back into your mouth, then sew your mouth shut. When you get hungry, you can only eat your own tongue. Tell me, what do you think about this idea? Woo! Woo woo! Lin Kuen was so frightened that his face turned ashen and his eyes opened wide. But if he struggled even for a smidgen, Yang Chen's hand that gripped onto his chin would exert a lot more strength, he was already in so much pain that he didn't dare to move an inch. At this moment, Lin Ruashi who stood by the door slowly raised her head, a little bit of luster had finally returned to her beautiful spiritless eyes. She looked at Yang Chen with incomparably complicated emotions, then glanced at Lin Kuen who looked like he was about to pee in his pants, dispiritedly she said, Yang Chen, let him go, don't scare him anymore, Lin Ruashi's tone wasn't as cold and indifferent as usual, she spoke very lightly, but it was exactly a line like that, which somehow managed to appease Yang Chen's scorching hot anger. She resembles that person too much. Yang Chen was a little helpless, the figure that he deliberately tried to forget flashed through his mind, leaving him momentarily entranced. Yang Chen released his hand, and Lin Kuen who was in pain felt unresigned while fearfully dodging to the side, he carefully looked at Yang Chen, while gasping heavily. Dad, it was Su Ji Hong that had you come, right? These people should have also been given to you by him. Lin Ruashi calmly looked at Lin Kuen, and lightly asked. Lin Kuen's face revealed malevolence, and he glared at Yang Chen with hatred, so what if that's the case? Young Master Su is helping me get rid of this bastard. This kind of asshole wants to plunder the assets of our Lin family, I'll definitely never agree to this. Dad, Lin Ruashi mournfully called out, with pain in her eyes, Dad, don't you know you are just being used by the Su family? You are helping Su Jihong create trouble for me. Do you know what kind of poor state the company is in now? Dad. Please sober up a little. Su Jihong is totally different from who you think he is. Nonsense. Lin Kuen roared, you little slut. Don't pretend to have good intentions, don't think that just because you call me, dad, that I will believe that an unfilial woman like you is kind. If you really wanted the best for me from the bottom of your heart, then at that time you shouldn't have snatched away everything that belonged to me. I should be the legitimate successor of you lay. If it wasn't for you playing tricks, why did that dead old woman suddenly change her will, and hand you lay international to a twenty-dot-year-old little baby? Lin Ruashi's leg staggered, if she wasn't supported by Wang Ma, she would have fallen long ago. Her complexion turned increasingly pale and helpless, and she finally couldn't hold back the tears from pouring down, Dad. How can you think this way? She is my grandmother, your mother, then how should I think? I want you to marry young Master Su, yet you refused a thousand times. Isn't it just because you're afraid that after marriage the position of Yulei's CEO will change owners? Otherwise, based on young Master Su's qualifications, why would a slut like you who fakes being noble and virtuous refuse? Lin Kuen's rage turned into laughter, ha 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 ha. I hit the mark, do you feel so ashamed that you want to kill yourself? Lin Ruashi could only feel the sky spin and the earth twist, even breathing had become difficult it was if her organs were submerged in quicksilver. Sparkling tears flowed out of her eyes like water from a dam burst and fell onto the ground. At that moment, the always cool and noble queen dot like lady couldn't help but cry, she even cried with such grievance. Lin Ruashi covered her face with her hands as she sobbed, and the sobs drowned the words she spoke. Dot, when mom left this world, you didn't even come home to take a look because of a lover you had outside. When grandma left this world, you waited for her to enter the coffin before you made your appearance, and only asked about matters of inheritance. From my memories, other than living a life of debauchery outside, and asking grandma for money, you basically showed no interest in the company's matters. 
how can grandma feel at ease leaving the company to you, in pain, Lin Ruashi looked at Lin Kuan, bit her lip and said, Dad, do you not understand what you're doing? Lin Kuan's face looked sinister as he coldly said, I did all that because they forced me to. If it wasn't for those two women who ought to have died long ago holding me back, would I need to lower my head and beg them for money? There was obviously so many company shares, why did I only receive such a small amount of money? I am the family's only man, shouldn't I be the one calling the shots? A slut like you only knows how to find excuses. 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 Your words are really the same as farts, Yang Chen truly found it hard to listen further, he really didn't understand how a woman like Lin Ruashi could have such a retarded and insane father. Perhaps it was heaven messing with people, or it could be that hateful people had to be pitiful as well. In a flash, Yang Chen's hand had grabbed onto Lin Kuan's neck, he exerted a little strength and Lin Kuan's face flushed from being unable to breathe. Lin Kuan's body erratically jerked, but was unable to break free. If this was handled my way, you would have died at least seven or eight times today, said Yang Chen indifferently, he looked towards the slightly nervous dot looking Lin Ruashi by the door, then said, however, in the end my wife is more soft-hearted, if I killed a father like you, she definitely wouldn't forgive me easily. With that said, Yang Chen released his grip on Lin Kuan's neck, but followed up with a lightning quick chop at Lin Kuan's nape. Lin Kuan's eyes rolled over, and he immediately fainted onto the ground. Yang Chen. You. What did you do to him? Lin Ruashi was still worried as she walked over, and squatted down to check for breathing from Lin Kuan's nose, confirming that he didn't die, she sighed a breath of relief. Anyhow, Blood was thicker than water. Leave him to me. Yang Chen stooped down and placed Lin Kuan's body on his shoulder, then he walked towards the nearby garbage bin. Lin Ruashi panicked and hurriedly stopped him, don't, don't throw him in, this is enough, I didn't cripple or kill him, that is already giving you a lot of face. He treats you like that, yet you still think of him as your father, I'm speechless. However, I hope you also consider my feelings, no matter what you think in your heart, as of right now, I am your husband. Yang Chen's tone was flat and dull, but every word was like a law that didn't allow disobedience. With that all said, he directly walked towards the garbage bin. Right now I am your husband. Right now I am your husband. Lin Ruashi's arms hung loose as she stood in the same place as if her soul left her, gazing at Yang Chen's back without a word. After Yang Chen once again threw Lin Kuan's body into the garbage bin, he heard Wang Ma shouting just as he was about to turn around. Mississippi Chapter 53 Half a month you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Midsummer's night descended late, enveloping the city of Zhonghai with what seemed to be gentle darkness, only the dazzling neon lights allowed the pedestrians to see each other's faces. Along the by dot directional eight-lane highway encircling the city, one could see the countless traffic that looked like shooting stars, some were entering the heart of the city, while some were leaving the oppressive concrete garden. On the roadside greenery in the north of Zhonghai and along the Yangtze River, were thinly spread street lights that had insects dancing around the lights. This was a quiet scene that was hard to come by, even though that moment still had the scorching heat like daytime. Close by was the meandering river that seemed to have no end, like a belt of jade that fell from the firmament, mutually echoing with the Milky Way in the skies, and mirroring a long string of white buildings by the river. This was the most expensive hospital in Zhonghai, the quiet and secluded environment let their patients recuperate better. But similarly, the bills that came with it were so high that ordinary folks would jump back in fright. At this moment, in the hospital's intensive care department, on a spacious and serene corridor, Dong Chen and Wang Ma sat on a bench specially placed for people to wait, quietly waiting for something outside the intensive care unit. Yang Chen had remained taciturn for a long while, before he was finally a little impatient, and dug his hand into his pocket to extract a cigarette, but he suddenly remembered that this was a hospital, and could only put it back angrily. Sighing, he stood up, and paced back and forth. Young master. 
Wang Ma's eyes were red, she had cried not too long ago, and spoke with worry, young master, why haven't the doctors and nurses come out yet? Miss shouldn't have any life-threatening issues right. Don't worry, although I'm no doctor, I still have some medical knowledge. Ruashi will be fine. Yang Chen consoled her. The scene of him sending Lin Ruashi to the hospital in the evening replayed over in his mind, and he too had difficulty setting himself at ease. Right after Yang Chen had dropped Lin Kun into the garbage bin, he turned around and immediately saw Lin Ruashi's legs turn weak as she stood on the lawn and fell onto the ground. Like a bullet, Yang Chen sped towards Lin Ruashi's side and held her, and he noticed that she was unconscious. His past experiences allowed him to remain calm, unlike the flustered Wang Ma. He calmly took out his phone, called for an ambulance, and carried Lin Ruashi back into the house. After a simple check, he discovered that Lin Ruashi had a high fever, so he immediately had Wang Ma bring over a cold towel and other first aid items, and took care of her until the ambulance came and brought her to the hospital. Due to the string of incidents, Yang Chen's heart was in a mess. Although this woman who was as cold as ice and who had no understanding of expressions never gave him a look with kindness or happiness, but once something like this happened to her, Yang Chen helplessly realized that he was truly worried for her from the bottom of his heart. Is it because she resembles her too much? Or is it because she is my legal wife? Perhaps it is only because of her. While Yang Chen was in a state of emotional disorder, the intensive care unit was opened, Wang Ma moved up to hold on to the doctor's elbow and asked, Doctor, how's my family's Mississippi? The doctor wore a soothing smile, don't worry, the crucial time has passed, and the fever has been brought down, a good rest is needed next. That's good, that's good, Wang Ma was so happy that she shed tears again, thank you doctor. The doctor took a look at the information on his phone, and in a reserved manner he asked, excuse me, does Miss Lin have a lot of pressure from work recently? Wang Ma blanked for a moment, and honestly replied, that's right doctor, my family's miss has always been working very hard, however these days she works overnight frequently, is there a problem? Miss Lin's body is very weak, according to our diagnosis, it should be caused by excessive pressure from work and psychological burdens. The doctor frowned as he said, this time's fever is also because the body's weak and was suffering a cold. She mustn't have had good sleep. At this rate, even if she's fine this time, there will be repeat occurrences, and when that happens, this sickness will take its roots and the body will be totally worn out. Wang Ma's heart jumped up to her throat, Doctor, what? What can we do? My family's miss must be cured, the doctor smiled and said, Don't worry, this isn't too big of an illness, the patient only needs to go through a period of good rest. If she can stay in the hospital for about half a month and take Chinese medicine to recuperate, then complete recovery is possible. Wang Ma revealed a distressed expression, half a month. I'm afraid that Miss won't agree. She must agree. Yang Chen dully inserted these words with a tone that did not allow negotiation. Then, to the doctor he said, Doctor, other than recuperation through Chinese medicine, what else needs to be done? You are, I am Lin Ruashi's husband, my name's Yang Chen. The doctor revealed astonishment, but immediately smiled and said, Oh, I apologize, I had no idea Miss Lin was married. If Mr. Yang has free time, you may accompany your wife to the hospital's garden to breathe in some fresh air, the patient's psychological burdens need to be stemmed as well, the recovery of the body is not enough. Yang Chen nodded, looking profound. Taking control of a company like Yulei International that was the top of the pyramid in the fashion industry at such a young age, without any kin at home, while all her only living kin, her father does is create trouble without any kind of contribution. In the business world she had to deal with so many sly enemies, yet her social life was so lonely and helpless. Moreover, being coveted by young masters of rich families like Su Jihong, for this woman to endure until now, she is worthy of reverence from the bottom of one's heart. After seeing off some medical personnels, Wang Ma sighed, and said, Young master, since miss must be hospitalized, then I'll go back to retrieve some essential items. 
It wouldn't be good if Miss wakes up and isn't able to get anything she needs. Thanks for your trouble Wang Ma. Yang Chen sincerely smiled. Actually, Lin Ruashi wasn't completely alone, at least there was someone like Wang Ma who watched her grow up by her side, and took care of her. Wang Ma shook her head, a little touched, all I'm doing is little trivial matters. If it wasn't for young master, miss might be forced into a dead end by master. Young master is the one who did something worth noting, for miss to choose young master, that truly was a decision that cannot be more correct, dot unable to deny, Yang Chen laughed at himself, if it weren't for him truly having a skill or two, Lin Ruashi would most likely be pushed into dire straits by Lin Kuan. She coincidentally insisted on marrying him, and unexpectedly she struck first prize, there. After Wang Ma left, Yang Chen softly opened the wooden door of the ward, and entered it with gentle footsteps. The room was dark, with only the bed lamp emitting a gentle glow which enveloped the pure white sickbed. Lin Ruashi's black hair was scattered all over, her usually cold and beautiful face now seemed weak. She was silent with closed eyes, and her breathing was normal, but her eyebrows were slightly wrinkled, as if she was having a bad dream. Does she face problems even in her dreams? Yang Chen sat down on a chair beside the bed. He gazed entranced at the unconscious woman in front of him while deep in thought. Her figure, her face, and her character were all so similar to that person. Gradually, Yang Chen lost track of time. Knock knock, the ward's door was suddenly knocked twice, and before Yang Chen could turn his head, somebody had gently opened the door and walked in. Chapter 54 Best friend you are listening at NovelFull.audio This chapter is sponsored by Patrick.C from Poland, thanks. The person who entered even breathed carefully, as if afraid of waking up Lin Ruashi who slept on the bed. Yang Chen knew from the footsteps that it wasn't Wang Ma, he puzzlingly turned around to look at the person who entered, and was flabbergasted. Why is it you? Mo Chen Yi first asked in amazement, and widened her cute and limpid eyes, making her lovely and charming face seem extremely enticing under the gloomy lights. This is my question as well, why are you here? Yang Chen frowned, after all the relationship between him and Lin Ruashi had been confidential, if Mo Chen Yi finds out, it might bring many unnecessary troubles to the both of them. While the two of them were still bewildered, the door once again opened. Wang Ma dragged in a suitcase, wore a smile and said, Miss M.O., this is the young master I mentioned, it is all because of young master that Miss was able to hold out till now. Wang Ma, M.O. Chen Yi pointed at Yang Chen with disbelief, and nearly cried out from the shock, You. You're saying Yang Chen is Ruashi's husband. Why, are you shocked? Since Wang Ma already let the cat out of the bag, Yang Chen was no longer willing to pretend, he made an evil smile and asked, or you could say I hurt Miss Mo's heart, as she discovered that she lost her chance to have something happen between her and an outstanding man like me. Spit, Mo Chien clenched her teeth, panted with rage and said, I'm just puzzled, why would Ruashi suddenly marry you without a word, and even chose a rogue like you as her husband? You must have used some kind of trick or scheme. Wang Ma saw the two at each other's throats the moment they met, and hurriedly stopped them saying, all right all right, Miss M.O., young master, this is still a ward, the two of you are the ones closest to Miss, it's better to argue less and be more amiable. Yang Chen's mouth twitched, and he asked, Wang Ma, why would you come here together with her? Wang Ma smiled and explained, when I returned home to grab the suitcase, Miss M.O. called to ask if Miss was home. Young master may not know this, but Miss M.O. and Miss have known each other for a long time. They were frequently together when old mistress was still alive. Now they are also working together in Ule International. Which is why their relationship is very good, in the past she also came to eat in our house often, and only came less frequently after old mistress passed away. Which is why when Miss M.O. asked about this, I didn't conceal the truth. When Miss M.O. heard that Miss was hospitalized, she insisted on coming with me to see her. It's unexpected that Mo Chien and Lin Ruashi were actually best friends. That's right, when he saw them in the company, 
he realized that his wife and his superior had a very good relationship, so it turns out that they were close privately. Then I'd like to thank you for your concern, Miss M. O. Ruashi has already passed the dangerous period, if you feel tired, you may return home and sleep with ease. M. O. Qianli rolled her eyes at Yang Chen, although she still felt gloomy and annoyed that a person like this became the CEO's husband, this wasn't the time to discuss about such things. Walking to the side of the bed, she carefully examined Lin Ruashi's pale face, and with worry she said, if you want to sleep you can do that on your own, I want to stay here and accompany Ruashi. It's not like she's your wife, what are you accompanying her for? Yang Chen joked. Fuck. Mo Qianli blew her top, you better not think highly of yourself just because you became Ruashi's husband, we've known each other for eight years, you don't know a thing. All I know is, if you continue speaking so loudly, my darling wife is going to be woken up by you. Yang Chen helpless made a gesture telling her to be silent. Mo Qianli immediately covered her mouth, stared at Yang Chen and spoke softly, I finally understand why Ruashi was so firmly against firing you, as it turns out you cannot be fired, that is me being serious, responsible and capable. Yang Chen winked at Mo Qianli, Miss Mo, don't forget to give me a bonus at the end of the month, I managed to recover $400,000. Bringing up this matter, a pit of fire reignited in Mo Qianli's heart, she coldly snorted, and no longer paid attention to Yang Chen. She pulled a chair over and sat by the bed as well, and didn't speak a word more. Wang Ma who was in the corner sorting out her things saw this scene and could only sigh. A silent night, with the moonlight like a clear spring cascading through the ward's window, seeming comfortable and serene. It was already midnight, Wang Ma who had finished sorting out the clothes and other essential items hesitated for a long time before deciding to return to the villa at Dragon Garden to wait. After all, someone had to look after such a big house, and conduct various chores. Moreover, there were specialized nursing personnel in the hospital. She could also accompany Lin Ruashi during the day, so staying overnight wasn't really necessary. In the ward, other than Lin Ruashi who was sleeping soundly, there was only Yang Chen and Mo Qianli who sat on opposite sides of the bed, keeping silent. After some time passed, Mo Qianli truly couldn't endure the dead atmosphere and said, How did you get married with Ruashi? She never said a word about this to me before. We originally intended to keep it under wraps, but since you've already found out, I hope you won't reveal this to anybody. Said Yang Chen. I'm no gossip girl. I'm more of a sister to Ruashi. Mo Qianli was somewhat dissatisfied, in contrast, you suddenly appeared and became Ruashi's husband, is it because you used some immoral scheme? Yang Chen laughed, from what Wang Ma said, the two of you knew each other since young, you should be more familiar with her than me, right? That's right. Mo Qianli said, when I was young, it was Ruashi's granny, who was also the previous CEO that helped me, which is why I am who I am today. Ruashi is my dear sister, and also my benefactor's flesh and blood, I definitely won't allow anybody to harm her. Yang Chen ignored Mo Qianli's gaze which was full of wariness, and continued by saying, since the two of you have known each other for so long, who do you think is more intelligent, you or her? She's smarter. Mo Qianli was very upfront, she rolled her eyes at Yang Chen and said, although I don't really like to admit it, but since young till now, she has always been a cut above me in everything we do. All I want is to do my part, and help share her burdens in work. Then do you think that she wouldn't think of what you are able to come up with? For us to get married, I had my own reasons and she had hers, it's none of your business. Said Yang Chen. Mo Qianli clenched her teeth and said, if you don't want to say it then don't, you're full of fallacious reasoning, and you curse without vulgarities. You better not think that I can't manage you just because you're Ruashi's husband, I'm still your superior. All I do is play some high IQ games, and chat with your sisters during my leisure time. Let me give you some advice for your own mental well-being, if you don't give me trouble, I would be too lazy to bother you. Yang Chen shook his head and stood up, it's already late, I still have things to do tomorrow, Miss Mo, if you wish to go home I can give you a lift, but if you wish to continue staying, 
remember not to catch a cold. With that said, he wore a weird smile as he glanced at Lin Ruashi, and walked out of the room without turning back. Mo Qianni swung her little fist behind Yang Chen, she wanted to stamp her feet and curse a little, but in the end she still endured. Not long after Yang Chen left, Mo Qianni made a long sigh, she felt that it wasn't worth getting angry over a person like that, and extended her hand to hold Lin Ruashi's. She softly muttered to herself, Ruashi, why did you choose a rogue like this as your husband, even if it's to put up a signboard and cheat others, you don't need to torment yourself like that, right, that, actually it's still all right, Mo Qianni was stunned, she raised her head to look. It was unclear when Lin Ruashi opened her eyes. Although Lin Ruashi had a tired complexion, she still woke up, and looked at her gently. Ruashi you're awake. When did you wake up? Mo Qianni was pleasantly surprised. Lin Ruashi weakly revealed a slight smile, obviously extremely intimate with a rare friend like Mo Qianni, he left, so I woke up. Could it be that you've long been awake, and deliberately waited for him to leave? Mo Qianni didn't know whether to laugh or to cry. If he's here, I don't dare to wake up. A complicated expression flashed through Lin Ruashi's eyes, she didn't speak more after that, and closed her eyes to recuperate. Chapter 55 Young Master is Wise You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. At night, in Zhong Hai's Su family's brightly lit huge villa, surrounded by large gardens and alleys, with security personnel patrolling everywhere. In a Baroque-styled room that was relatively dim, Su Jihong who wore a black pajamas sat by a bar counter, and poured himself a glass of Lafite red wine. He raised it and swirled it a few times, before he took a sip, the sound of knocking was heard from the door. Enter. Su Jihong creased his eyebrows. Harry Ball happily walked in wearing a dot shirt that was washed till it lost color and a pair of holy jeans. The beard on his face looked as if it hadn't been shaved for weeks, while his body odor could be smelt from far away. How many times have I told you this, the door is an art piece. If you want to enter, shout. Su Jihong felt helpless towards this subordinate of his. Harry Ball laughed and said, I was too excited, and forgot this matter. You never remembered it before. Su Jihong glared at Harry Ball. Harry Ball's mood became deflated, and he subconsciously scratched his oily head, Young master, do you know what I saw today? Su Jihong walked to the window, and dully said, Don't beat around the bush. You're so unhumorous, no wonder you can't pick up that little girl with the surname Lin, Harry Ball murmured, then said, Lin Cohen came to visit, he asked for help to deal with that Yang Chen, I wanted to take advantage of that situation, and lent him five retired soldiers. Unexpectedly, those five people were put down by Yang Chen alone today. That Lin Kuen was thrown into the garbage bin again. Don't you think it's funny, young master? Ha <laughs> ha. That is his father. In law, and he threw him into the garbage bin twice. Su Ji Hong swirled the wine glass in his hand, contemplated for a moment, and said, Seems like this Yang Chen's truly not simple. It's a pity that there's so little information on him it's too difficult to understand him. Harry Ball spoke a line in ridicule, it can't be that young master is afraid, right? Afraid. Su Jihong coldly smiled, all he knows how to do is a few punches and kicks, and speak with a rogue tongue. Why would I be afraid of him? A crouching tiger can't deal with a hidden dragon. He's a small character that returned from overseas a little more than half a year ago, is it possible that he can overturn the heavens? Then how about I go deal with him now, I heard the few useless henchmen say that his movements were very fast, my hands are itching right now. Said Harry Ball excitedly. Su Jihong shook his head, no need, regarding this matter, we shan't meddle in it temporarily. To speak of how Lin Ruashi is like normally, she probably doesn't even know herself. In this city, she might not be the most intelligent woman, and might not be the most low.key woman, but she is definitely one of the most dangerous women. Don't push her over the edge and force her to do things that she doesn't want to do. 
Young master, you've always looked at Miss Lin with such importance, just what capabilities does she have? Harry Balls puzzlingly asked. Su Jihong sipped a little of the red wine, actually I'm not entirely sure as well, but it's never wrong to be more careful. As for the matter regarding Yang Chen, you need not worry, for we don't need to do anything. That brainless Lin Kuen definitely won't let this matter rest. Young master is wise. Boot dot lick less. Get the hell out of my room and take a shower. Actually I just bathed last week, at dawn, on the next day, Yan Chen drove his car to the West Region's food market to procure breakfast. As expected, Old Lee as before set up his stall at his usual spot, with a happy face. It seemed like he was in a very good mood, it seemed like he learned of what happened to the Chen family's father and son, and been released of all the burdens in his heart. Seeing Yang Chen walk over, he smiled and greeted, Little Yang you've come, I heard from the others that you've started working at a company. That's great, that seems more like something a youngster should do. Both jobs are work, there isn't much of a difference. Yang Chen smiled and said, It's a pity that in the future I won't have much time to boast and idly chat with you guys, working in an office is actually less comfortable. Old Lee mischievously smiled and said, that little girl Jingjing was very cheerful last night, did you say something to her? Yang Chen pondered for a moment, and said, I promised to visit her in her school today. Old Lee had an expression of sudden enlightenment, he patted Yang Chen's shoulders, young people should get together well, my family's Jingjing has a very pure character, you better not let her suffer, otherwise I won't forgive you. Seeing old Li's, I knew it, expression, Yang Chen wanted to explain, but the words that went up to his throat was too difficult to say, so he could only swallow it back in and awkwardly nod. Once again bringing in various bags of breakfast to the office, the group of PR department ladies had already raised their heads in longing, seeing the myriad of breakfasts, they once again sang praises at Yang Chen. Soon after Yang Chen sat on his chair, he felt the urge to turn on his computer and begin a new day of his professional gaming career, but saw M.O. Qianli who had a tired expression enter the office. M.O. Qianli glanced at Yang Chen, saw the remainders of a big bag of Youtiao on Yang Chen's desk, and was immediately overwhelmed by anger. This fella, as somebody's husband, his wife is in the hospital, yet he didn't attend to her, and instead bought a heap of breakfast for the ladies in the office. She couldn't help but look at him with disdain and ridicule, you're very considerate to your colleagues, and even do your best at buying breakfast. But I wonder if you will remember to bring some to a certain someone. Miss M.O. wants some. It's all right, there's still a lot left. Yang Chen raised a meat bun in his hand, generously extending it to M.O. Qianli. You know who I am talking about. M.O. Qianli said softly. Yang Chen helplessly laughed, Ruashi should be eating light and healthy food, Wang Ma would naturally send it after cooking. I can't possibly be bringing meat buns and yudios to a patient that needs to recuperate, right? Heartless. You don't need to find excuses. Although this explanation was very reasonable, M.O. Qianli didn't accept it. Dot discovering that this woman's prejudice against himself was already humongous, Yang Chen didn't plan on wasting his efforts trying to please her. He shrugged his shoulders, put the bun into his mouth and began to eat it. M.O. Qianli had accompanied Lin Ruashi all night at the hospital, and she was hungry. After smelling the aroma in the office, her stomach rumbled in hunger. Seeing Yang Chen take back the meat bun made her even madder, and cursed Yang Chen for being petty and tactless. She quickly reached out and grabbed a bag of steamed dumplings from the table and Breeze walked into her office. Hungry yet still tries to argue. Yang Chen whispered as he laughed. When it was lunchtime, Yang Chen gracefully declined the three ladies' invitation to eat lunch together, and drove to the hospital. During the day, Zhong Hai First Hospital was rather cold, after all the hospital was big, yet the patients were few, however this was perfectly suited for patients to convalesce. Yang Chen followed the path to Lin Ruashi's ward, the door was opened, and voices transmitted outwards from the inside. Walking closer and taking a careful look, it was the two acquaintances from two days ago. 
Ruashi, I have good relations with this hospital's chairman, how about I have them give you the best nursing ward, take this as my little gift. Lin Ruashi leaned against the pure white pillow, her ice mountain dot like fair face looked out of the window and at the sky, and clearly said, not necessary, thank you for visiting me. Ruashi, these words are too cold, if it wasn't because I have been rather busy recently, I would accompany you in the hospital more. Actually for people like us, this type of peaceful contact is what we lack. Said Su Jihong with some regret. This time Lin Ruashi wasn't even interested in replying, as if nothing was heard, she stared blankly out of the window. Wang Ma who was at the side cleaning up the breakfast utensils felt that the silent atmosphere of the room was too awkward, and was just about to speak some polite words on behalf of Lin Ruashi when she saw Yang Chen standing at the entrance of the ward. She immediately revealed a relieved smile and said, Young master, you're here. Chapter 56 That'd be very difficult you are listening at novel full dot audio. Yang Chen smiled and nodded towards Wang Ma, then turned to speak to Su Jihong, Young master Su is really diligent, you came even earlier than I, her husband. Su Jihong seemed unfazed as he smiled amiably and said, Mr. Yang sure knows how to crack a joke. The friendship between Ruashi and I has lasted for years, I hurried over once I heard she fell sick. Oh, Yang Chen had an expression of enlightenment, then moved forward with a strange smile and said, Since young master came to visit, you must have brought something like a visiting gift, right? Su Jihong inwardly cursed, shameless, and said, I only brought some fruits. He pointed at the fruit basket on the side table, I know Ruashi doesn't like extravagance, so I brought something simple to represent my heartfelt wishes. Yang Chen walked to the basket and picked up a red apple. He weighed it in his hand, and spoke in disappointment, it's a real apple huh? Su Jihong puzzlingly asked, of course it's a real apple, what do you mean by that, Mr. Yang? He he. Yang Chen regretfully said, I thought that for a rich man like young Master Su, the apples sent by you would be made of gold. Who knew that it would be just an ordinary apple, without any meaning to it? Su Jihong could only feel his lungs expand. How is this man's brain grown? Golden apple. Wicked guy. Lowly person. Rogue. Mr. Yang sure knows how to make jokes, huh? Said Su Jihong as he laughed forcibly. Lin Ruashi who sat on the bed kept refusing to turn her head to look at the two men, yet at this moment she faintly glanced at them. Seeing the appearance of Su Jihong forcibly laughing, her lips moved slightly. If it wasn't for taking into consideration the Su family's might and their business cooperations, Lin Ruashi hoped that Su Jihong would disappear from this world. After all if it wasn't for him pushing Lin Kuen, Lin Kuen wouldn't make such a mess out of things. He caused her originally exhausted heart to become even more haggard, which was why she is on the hospital bed now. It was a pity that it was impossible for her to do something overboard to Su Ji Hong. This was why in a sense, Yang Chen's actions were what Lin Ruashi wished to see. It seemed that Yang Chen didn't plan to leave the matter at that, he waved his hand and said, I'm aware of great young Master Su's capabilities, something like a gold apple definitely isn't a difficult thing, it's just a question of whether young Master Su is willing. Although something this expensive isn't much to young Master Su, in the end it isn't good to casually give it to people you're not close to. Therefore us husband and wife will not insist for it, we are deeply grateful to young Master Su for giving us a real apple. After speaking, Yang Chen grabbed a tissue, wiped the apple in his hand, and took a big bite out of it. In an enjoyed manner he said, not bad, very sweet, young Master Su is even good at picking apples, looks like it wouldn't be a bad choice if someday you switched your job to a fruit farmer. Su Jihong nearly fainted from anger, he had met shameless people before, but has never met someone this shameless. Being spoken to by this rogue, and in a few words he became a miser, a scrooge, a selfish person, an and even became a fruit farmer. I came to visit a patient. Not to receive a scolding. Also, fuck that sweet apple. How can it possibly be picked by me? 
Of course, Su Ji Hong wasn't stupid to the point where he would say, I had someone else buy the apple for me. Wouldn't that indicate that he lacked sincerity? Realizing that he would go crazy if he continued staying, Su Ji Hong smiled with his skin but not his flesh as he said, I still have a meeting this afternoon, so I'll not disturb you from recovering. Ruashi, I will come again to visit when I'm free. He immediately walked out of the room after he finished speaking. Wang Ma who had been enduring for a long time finally couldn't hold back, and with a puchi, she laughed out, young master you're really good at talking, that Su family's young master would most likely be angry for days. Yang Chen munched on the apple while saying, he won't, if he really stayed angry for a long time over a matter like this, he would have given up on Ruashi long ago. Sai, Wang Ma turned to look at Lin Ruashi, who was so silent as if she wasn't in the room, I'm going out for a while, young master should chat with Mississippi. After the thoughtful Wang Ma left, Yang Chen annihilated the apple in his hand, and sat by Lin Ruashi's bed. He smiled and said, my good good wife, Ruashi, this apple is pretty good, how about I peel one for you, Lin Ruashi remained expressionless as she stared out of the window, as if she didn't hear anything. Yang Chen nodded with satisfaction, this time you didn't stop me from addressing you this way, there's improvement. Furthermore, you silently consented that you wanted to eat an apple, and even know how to act like a spoiled child, an even greater improvement. To reward you, I will personally peel an apple for you. Although she had already gained knowledge and experienced the ways of this contracted husband many times over the past few days, in the end Lin Ruashi still felt that she underestimated this fella. I haven't even spoken half a sentence, and became a spoiled child. Can't you speak in a more decent manner? Lin Ruashi sighed, and turned her head back. Hoping to speak with Yang Chen properly. Decent. I've always been decent. What is there indecent about a husband peeling an apple for his wife? Yang Chen smiled as he took hold of a fruit knife, the shiny fruit knife in his hand consecutively spun in a beautiful 360 degrees, as if it was glued to his palm. Lin Ruashi didn't have the mood to speak anymore, but when she saw Yang Chen reveal this skill, she couldn't help but curiously watch him carefully. Yang Chen grabbed an apple which looked good from the outside, and grasped the fruit knife in his other hand. After a brief pause, the fruit knife rapidly peeled the apple's skin. Yang Chen's hand was very fast, so fast that Lin Ruashi, who was in close proximity couldn't see his movements clearly. She could only see the small fruit knife turn into countless lights surrounding the apple and circling it for a short period of time. It was like peeling an apple became a piece of art, just like a clay sculpture or a wood carving, where before the final moment, you wouldn't know the how the final result would turn out. In less than 30 seconds, Yang Chen stopped moving his hands, and moved the peeled apple to Lin Ruashi, here, your husband gives his wife a prize. Lin Ruashi looked at the peeled apple in front of her eyes, blankly stared for a moment, and soon felt an indescribable feeling well up in her heart. Unconsciously, she became silly. At that moment, the originally rosy apple lost most of its skin, but on the peeled apple, were some thin leftover skin, forming a few beautiful red words. Wish wife good health, Lin Ruashi noticed her eyes getting moist, and immediately controlled her emotions. She said, you only know how to do such unorthodox and senseless things, even this apple you peeled is so sappy. Hee <laughs> hee. Yang Chen's thick skin blushed, actually I also feel it's a little sappy, so it's better that you quickly eat it, my good good wife. Do you want me to feed it to you? With that said he moved the apple towards Lin Ruashi's porcelain dot like smooth lips. I'll do it myself. Lin Ruashi quickly grabbed the apple off Yang Chen's hands, but when the apple was in front of her eyes, she saw the bright red words on the apple, and hesitated. She found it somewhat difficult to open her mouth. Yang Chen said, is it difficult to bite off such a good-looking apple? It's all right, I can always peel another for my family's ruashi, but what should I write on it, you need not let your imaginations run wild. Lin Ruashi immediately replied, I was just wondering whether you washed your hands. Seeing Lin Ruashi begin to nibble on the apple he peeled, 
Yan Chen didn't continue teasing her, and only felt that the way this ice mountain dot like woman held the apple with both hands and nibbled on it looked pretty cute. Thank you. Lin Ruashi suddenly spoke softly. Yan Chen suspected that he heard wrongly, what? I said, thank you, thank you for everything you've done for me. Lin Ruashi raised her head, with eyes like the clear autumn, I realized that I don't hate you as much as before. Yang Chen bitterly smiled, you need not thank me, if one day you become fond of me and promote me from a temporary husband to a permanent one, I will thank the heavens. Lin Ruashi did not angry from those words, she instead pondered for a moment, and seriously replied, that'd be very difficult. Chapter 57 What a coincidence you are listening at NovelFull.audio This chapter is sponsored by the following, Jimmy.V from PA, USA, Zaid.S from Vic, Australia. And Natarat.R from TH. Much thanks. The Ice Queen was after all the Ice Queen. Although she spoke a few sentences for the first time in forever, after those words were spoken she once again returned back to shut down mode. Yang Chen judiciously left the ward. He felt hungry from not eating lunch and drove to a small restaurant to deal with it. He didn't intend to return to the company and work. Instead, he asked for directions and left for Zhong Hai Yi Zhong to look for Li Jingjing. Note. Zhong Hai Yi Zhong is the name of the school Li Jingjing works at. With regards to that innocent girl, Yang Chen always felt distressed on how to handle the relationship between the two of them, he couldn't bear to hurt her, and wasn't willing to see her sad. But in the end, Yang Chen knew that he still hadn't completely given up on Li Jingjing in his heart. Men simply like to find excuses to make themselves seem righteous. In Zhong Hai, Yi Zhong is considered one of the most elite school, so it could easily be found by simply asking the locals for directions. After parking the car at the large outdoor car park in the school, Yang Chen got off the car, and realized that he had forgot to set a location for meeting up with Li Jingjing. However, he didn't panic to make a phone call, since it's always better to give a pleasant surprise. Perhaps it was because they saw Yang Chen drive a BMW into the school, the security guards at the entrance didn't obstruct him, and only glanced before amicably letting him pass. Yi Zhong's campus was fresh to Yang Chen. In fact, Yang Chen had never spent much time in school. The school's orderly layout, the many wooden plaques of famous sayings, as well as the occasional teachers and students walking past with books, all these were completely fresh in Yang Chen's eyes. After asking an elderly teacher along the way, Yang Chen found the building that was the teacher's office. Recalling that Li Jingjing teaches English, based on that clue, he quickly found the office which had the door with the sign, Li Jingjing, on it. Above it contained a picture of a girl wearing a smile, appearing to be brimming with youth. After knocking on the door thrice, the words, please enter, came from the inside. It was precisely the familiar voice of Li Jingjing. Yang Chen opened the door, and the first thing he saw was the two seated people. The first was naturally Li Jingjing with a long ponytail tied up, wearing a white short dot-sleeved blouse, and a pair of mid-length jean shorts that covered her thighs, looking fresh and beautiful. The appearance of the other person astonished Yang Chen, it was actually the Land Rover lady, he met by chance at that night, with hair that was long, sexy and wavy, a black suit that gave off a heavy impression of accomplishment, her smooth and fair feet stepped on a pair of crystal dot-like textured silver high heels. Sitting on the chair, her entire figure was like a meticulously sculpted piece of art. The two ladies that had completely opposite styles yet were equally enchanting sat opposite of each other, and turned their heads to look at Yang Chen who was at the door at the same time. However, the expressions they revealed were completely different. Li Jingjing's delight was displayed through her words as she stood up and called out, Big Brother Yang. She happily moved up and pulled Yang Chen into the office, and moved a chair for him to sit, why have you come so suddenly yet didn't give me a call? Yang Chen awkwardly laughed, and said, a surprise, surprises are better. Then, he looked towards the lady that had an expression of enlightenment, what a coincidence, we meet again. Yeah. Tang Wan sized Yang Chen up, 
then looked at the contentedly Jingjing, and a weird yet ambiguous smile appeared on her face, so you are acquainted with Teacher Li. Li Jingjing curiously asked, Miss Tang knows Big Brother Yan. One fateful encounter. Said Tang Wan, and she added dot on, not familiar. Li Jingjing didn't think much of it, and nodded, I never thought Big Brother Yang would come so suddenly, but since everybody is acquainted then it's fine. Please tell me if there's anything Miss Tang still wishes to know, or need me to help with. Tang Wan shook her head with a smile and said, I have already disturbed Teacher Li by chatting for a long time, it's about time I return to my office. Moreover, since Mr. Yang is already here, if I still insist on staying, that would be too inconsiderate of me. As she said that, she gave Yang Chen a profound look. Yang Chen wouldn't dare look at this lady face to face. At that time, he made it clear that he wanted her to be his one night stand. The tragedy was that he failed, and now they met when he came to look for Li Jingjing, so it couldn't be helped that her thoughts drifted in that direction. As a result, he glanced all around the room, refusing to chat more with Tang Wan. These words made Li Jingjing blush, but she felt sweetness in her heart, Miss Tang is overthinking things, we are not in that kind of relationship. Then let's leave it as me overthinking things. Tang Wan didn't bluntly point out anything. She gracefully stood up and picked up her white Chanel handbag, I would have to trouble Teacher Li with taking care of my daughter in the future. I shall take my leave now, thank you Teacher Li. You're too courteous, goodbye Miss Tang. After seeing Tang Wan off, Yang Chen breathed a sigh of relief, thinking of the conversation before, he bafflingly asked, Jingjing, that Miss Tang asked you to take care of her daughter. Li Jingjing nodded, smiling she said, yes, Miss Tang's daughter is in my class, and I am the new form teacher, so she came to chat with me regarding her daughter. Actually her daughter is pretty intelligent, and obtains good results. However, she is just too naughty, her previous form teachers were all rather worried, and made her change classes quite a number of times. Miss Tang was afraid that I would do the same, so she specially came to chat with me for a long time. Oh, Yang Chen was a little shocked inside, he never thought that Tang Wan was someone who had a daughter because she looked so young. Since she was a mother, it's no wonder he didn't succeed that night. Li Jingjing had no idea her great big brother had such thoughts, and continued saying, I pity all the parents of the world, I think that educating children always requires some patience. I plan to make some time to chat with that child. I feel that an intelligent girl like her would definitely understand her parents' labors. Yang Chen nodded in approval, that's true, a person like me that never had a mother or father can't endure the fact that someone is not contented despite having a mother's love. Big Brother Yang, you're not allowed to bring up this matter, it makes people sad. Li Jingjing consoled. I, your big brother Yang, have been used to it long ago. Yang Chen laughed, and stood up from the chair. He looked around at the refined office, this truly deserves to be called an elite school, even the offices are so delightful. Li Jingjing felt cheerful hearing the praises, smiled and said, this office is only used by me and another female teacher, sometimes I feel that it's quite a waste. My family's little sister Li Jingjing has braved the cold for years, it's no big deal for her to use an office like this. Yang Chen teasingly said. Li Jingjing pouted and said, Big brother Yang, I'm not little anymore. And also not some little sister. According to age, I'm even the same age as you, Yang Chen was stunned, and saw Li Jingjing's pair of large innocent eyes staring at him. In his heart, he knew what this girl was thinking about, and he felt ashamed about it, but he didn't know what to say. Right at this moment, the office telephone rang. Li Jingjing glanced at Yang Chen with bitterness once more, and proceeded to pick up the phone. After listening on the phone, she said, Thank you, I got it. Before hanging up. What's going on? Did something happen? Asked Yang Chen who immediately shifted from earlier's topic. Li Jingjing pursed her little lips bashfully, and looked at Yang Chen with anticipation, Big Brother Yang, can you accompany me to somewhere tonight? Chapter 58 
I will help you get used to it you are listening at novelfull.audio. Tonight. Where to? Yang Chen puzzlingly asked. Several of the school's young teachers in the English department have prepared a welcome party for me, they say it will be at Bar Streets, Heavenly Province, and I. I've never been to a place like that, but feel too embarrassed to reject everyone, so I'd like you to accompany me there. Towards the end of her sentence, Li Jingjing spoke with lesser and lesser strength. Fact was, after learning that Yang Chen had married, Li Jingjing was a lost soul. It was only on that day where Yang Chen helped her deal with the problem of the Chen family's father and son without hesitation, did she come to realize her big brother Yang didn't discard her. Although she felt terrible about Yang Chen's marriage, Li Jingjing was unable to resist the urge to see Yang Chen. When Yang Chen said he would come to visit her today, she couldn't sleep well for the whole night. Li Jingjing didn't know how to face Yang Chen, but once she saw him, she realized that nothing had changed. She would still happily smile in front of Yang Chen, and would still turn shy and blush over little things. But when she requested Yang Chen to accompany her to a nightclub, Li Jingjing felt afraid. She was afraid that Yang Chen would reject her because of his change in relationship status, and was even more afraid that from the very beginning Yang Chen didn't have the intention to agree to a little request like this. Too many thoughts went through her head in this moment, yet when Li Jingjing was getting a little dejected, she heard Yang Chen straightforwardly agree, no problem. Really? Li Jingjing was overjoyed by the unexpected good news, and hugged onto Yang Chen's elbow, Big Brother Yang, you'll really accompany me there. Yang Chen tapped on the girl's nose in a pampering manner, and it was a simple action like this that made it all the more pitiful, look at how happy you look now, you're supposed to be a role model, pay attention to how you look. But somebody is just really happy, Li Jingjing stuck out her tongue, and still didn't let go of his arm. Yang Chen took a look at the clock on the wall, it was 2 p.m. in the afternoon, after pondering for a moment, he asked, Jingjing, are you busy this afternoon? I'm not, I only have morning classes today. The term just started, so it isn't a busy period. Li Jingjing honestly replied. With a profound look, Yang Chen laughed, then you should follow me somewhere now, since they chose Heavenly Province, it wouldn't be good if you went looking this casual. After dealing with some trivial matters, Yang Chen brought Li Jingjing out of the school, and into his car. Li Jingjing was astonished when she saw the interior of the BMW, Big Brother Yang, when did you buy a sports car? Although she didn't know the brand names of cars, the girl had the insight to notice that this car's price tag definitely wasn't low. Oh, now that I've changed my job and needed a car, I bought it. Yang Chen didn't continue explaining, he couldn't possibly say that he casually took this out from his wife's garage. Li Jingjing didn't continue brooding over the matter, and asked, where are you bringing me to, Big Brother Yang? It's still so early, the teachers said that the party will start at 6 p.m. this evening. Shopping for clothes, you are still I, Yang Chen's younger sister, if you get looked down upon when you go to Heavenly Province, that would be terrible. Yang Chen smiled and spoke. Is it embarrassing that I dress like this? Li Jingjing was a little depressed as she lowered her head. Yang Chen helplessly sighed, Jingjing, that isn't what I meant. It's just that you've never been to Heavenly Province, and you're not aware of it. From what I know of Bar Street, that place isn't as casual as other KTV and bars, to simply put, it's a high dot class nightclub. For your colleagues to choose a place like that, it can be seen that they are all quite rich. It's no big deal if you dress casually most of the time, but if you attend the welcome party that they prepared for you so casually, it'll not just be bad for you, it'll also embarrass them. Of course, for those who are particularly concerned about self-interest, changing into a respectable and luxurious attire will make them shut up and not affect your mood. I feel that the teachers in school treat me pretty well. They probably won't ridicule me, Li Jingjing bit her lip, and spoke with hesitantly. Jingjing, while driving the car, Yang Chen spoke, you have graduated from university for quite a while now, and ought to face the reality of society. For some matters, even though you don't care, it doesn't mean everybody else won't. Since you entered this society, you can only do your best to adapt. 
There is nothing to grieve or feel sad about, and nothing you can reject or loathe. I. I understand. Li Jingjing nodded, Big Brother Yang, thank you. It's not that I don't understand, it's just that I'm still not used to it. I will help you get used to it. Yang Chen gently smiled. In less than half an hour, the car stopped at Zhonghai Mall, in the mall, clothing products from all over the world could be purchased, and would save Yang Chen the effort of going all around Zhonghai to find clothes for Li Jingjing. This was Yang Chen's first time entering a large shopping mall after returning to the country. In the morning, he went to the bank to deposit the extorted check, and after he cashed it in he had a card made. Now that he finally had a little capital in his wallet, he had a little more confidence as he brought Li Jingjing into the elevator to go up. If it was like before and he wanted to buy clothes, he would have to first borrow some money from others. Li Jingjing had never been to a rich and majestic place like this which had perfumes pervading in the air like this to shop. She nervously held on to Yang Chen's arm, with her originally lily dot-like fresh, pure, and beautiful face, combined with her current cute and helpless look, many other customers that walked around couldn't help but steal glances at her. As they walked, they passed by Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Chanel and a few other branded stores. Yang Chen frowned, and bitterly said to Li Jingjing, seems like these shops are more expensive than I expected, how about we take a look at Balenciaga? Although he had some money, it was still not enough to buy those clothes that cost thousands. Li Jingjing simply had no knowledge of the meaning behind these brand names, all she knew was the design of their clothes were extremely beautiful, while some were extremely embarrassing. At this moment she lovably nodded, I'll listen to Big Brother Yang, it's better not to buy something too expensive, I. I'm afraid I don't have enough money. As she said that, she even rubbed her little satchel. Yang Chen knowingly smiled, and couldn't help pinching the girl's elastic face, I will pay for the clothes today. But, nav om, no buts. Yang Chen immediately said, just think of it as something you owe me, and you can return it to me once you earn more money in the future. Li Jingjing could only yield and agree to it. She felt secretly happy in her heart. As Yang Chen expected, the clothes sold by Balenciaga's specialty store was a little cheaper, this was a French brand with decades of experience, they've always been about the clean, simple, refined and pure style. This brand met the requirements to be the outlet to shop for Li Jingjing's clothes. TL The Ross Say Balenciaga is a French brand but I'm pretty sure it's Spanish. Well it's Chinese it's called Ba Li Shi Jia, which literally means Paris aristocratic family, kinda funny. When the sales lady saw the two enter, she passionately welcomed them, Mr. and Miss, is there anything particular you want to look at? This season's new designs just arrived yesterday, how about I introduce them to the two of you? Oh, you do not need to go through that trouble, we can choose ourselves. Yang Chen politely refused the sales lady's good intentions, and pulled Li Jingjing's hand as he entered the lady's department. On one hand he sized up Li Jingjing's build, on the other he personally chose clothes for her. Since it was a work day and also daytime, there weren't many customers in the store. Several of the sales ladies noticed that there was a young man helping his girlfriend choose her clothes, and all looked over in curiosity. Li Jingjing was sized up and down by Yang Chen. While feeling a little weird in her heart, she also felt quite touched. Seeing Yang Chen pick out clothes for her so seriously, all the emotional pain she had vanished into thin air. At this time, as if he suddenly came to a conclusion, Yang Chen nodded, he turned around and said to Li Jingjing, Jingjing, take off your clothes. Chapter 59 my princess you are listening at novel full dot audio. Eh. Li Jingjing was stunned, and her face was immediately flushed, big. Big brother Yang, what did you say? Yang Chen realized that his phrasing was imprecise, and smiled, what I meant was, for you to go to the changing room, and I will have them send the chosen clothes to you. Try on every set, then choose the one you think looks the best on you and show it to me. Li Jingjing breathed a sigh of relief. 
seeing the surrounding sails smiling at her, she truly wanted to dig a hole in the ground and hide her face. After Li Jingjing was brought into the changing room, Yang Chen walked a few rounds around the ladies' department at lightning speeds, and took out several sets of clothes that he remembered. Furthermore, he matched the clothes and let a sales lady send it into the changing room. Several sales ladies saw Yang Chen dazzlingly match up five sets of clothes, and were extremely shocked. Since they were able to work in a shop like this with a big brand name, they naturally had an eye for fashion and beauty. Yang Chen's choices for matching obviously weren't randomly chosen. Although they didn't see how Li Jingjing looked after putting those one, they all understood that the chosen clothes definitely suited her. This miss is really blessed to have such a caring boyfriend like you, mister. A sales lady sincerely spoke. Yang Chen didn't explain anything, and just smiled as he shook his head. The other lady curiously asked, Mr., are you a designer? Or a figure specialized in the fashion industry? You seem extremely familiar with our brand, Balenciaga. I have some friends that are relatively knowledgeable in this field, all I have is the tip of the iceberg. Yang Chen replied. This was the truth, when all was said and done, Balenciaga could only be considered a mid. High-level brand, the tailoring of the clothes weren't even a complex fashion design. Due to his many years of experience with those old chaps, analyzing an ordinary foreign brand like this wasn't difficult at all. When women pursue beauty, they become extremely careful and patient, therefore men are bound to wait for quite some time before seeing the finished product that went through utmost care. In about half an hour, Yang Chen and the other sales ladies had chatted until they nearly brought up childhood stories of wetting the bed before Li Jingjing shyly walked out from the changing room. When everybody looked over, they subconsciously held their breath, and were speechless. The girl's ponytail was already let down with her soft straight hair cascading onto her chest which slightly covered those enchanting cheeks that were drunkish red from shyness, while her fresh and delicate face suddenly seemed extremely captivating and attractive. The white strapless dress leveled perfectly with her arm, with natural creases on the chest, and lacy patterns extending from her elegant waist down to the ends of her tuta skirt. The skirt covered by gauze appeared to be light gold under the lights, causing the exquisitely smooth and white legs to seem extremely warm with luster. A pair of fashionable white sandals wrapped around the pair of fair feet, and her adorable toes were exposed to the air. Li Jingjing's figure could be classified as a young innocent beauty from a small family. It wasn't exaggerated anywhere, not overly small or skinny, the shoulders and cheeks were perfect shaped, and the breasts and butt was outstanding yet subtle. It is said that fresh water brings out the naturally sculptured hibiscus. The girl's unique fresh and pure elegant aura finally revealed itself without any restraints. Oh my god, how can an effect like this be brought out from our store's clothes, a salesperson found it hard to believe, and subconsciously sighed as she praised. Li Jingjing noticed everybody staring at her in a daze, while feeling shy and happy, the girl's natural love for beauty made her unable to resist spinning a circle. With a hopeful expression she asked Yang Chen, Big Brother Yang, how do I look? You are gorgeous my princess, TL. Was in English. Yang Chen smiled, and stooped down to make a knight's greeting. Li Jingjing was an English teacher, and obviously knew the meaning behind those words, the joy in her heart made her completely forget to wonder why Yang Chen knew English. She could only feel that her heart was about to leap out of her chest, and her body turning into a little bird that could fly. I accept your praise my knight, TL. Was in English. Li Jingjing raised the ends of her skirt, and happily returned the greeting. A salesperson came forward, and enviously smiled saying, Miss, can you let us take a photo of you, as the most beautiful memory of our shop? Li Jingjing hesitated for a moment. Actually, she only wanted to hear Yang Chen's praise, as for taking a photo for others to see, she was very shy about it, so she looked towards Yang Chen with an inquiring expression. Of course it's all right, our teacher Li is a beauty, there's nothing to be afraid of. Yang Chen encouraged. Then. Then all right. Li Jingjing calmly smiled and agreed. 
After the few salespersons took a few photos in great delight, Yang Chen had them bring out all of the clothes he chose before, and said, I'll buy all of these, help me calculate the total price. At this moment, Li Jingjing had already taken off the dress, and changed into a pure white blouse with dark brown jean shorts that was easier to move around in. Her pair of long, smooth, and beautiful white legs that were exposed to the air appeared more vivacious, and gave off a feeling of boldness and sexiness. Hearing Yang Chen say that he would buy everything, she couldn't help but cry out in alarm, Big Brother Yang, there's no need to buy all of them. Yang Chen smiled and said, It's not like you're only going to dress up like this once, you can't possibly be wearing the same thing every time you go for a gathering with those people, right? Li Jingjing still felt that it was a waste to spend so much, but didn't know what to say. Don't worry miss, you supplied our shop with such a beautiful feature photo, we will sell these at half price. The sales lady kindly smiled and said, originally it's over $6,400, but this time we will gift you, our guests three sets, and only collect $3,000. To Yang Chen $3,000 was indeed inexpensive, and he immediately swiped his card to make the payment. Yet Li Jingjing instead felt regretful, $3,000 was about her salary for half a month, she suspected that the cost of all her clothes combined since childhood didn't even reach $3,000, yet today $3,000 were spent buying clothes for her. All right, my princess, it's getting late, right now many people are getting off work, and the traffic will be heavy. When we reach Heavenly Province it should be around 6 p.m., let's go. After Li Jingjing firmly made the decision to pay Yang Chen back in the future, she pushed those thoughts behind, and happily held Yang Chen's hand as they left the store. But just as the two were about to enter the elevator, Li Jingjing's phone rang, and she picked up the phone. With a burdened expression she spoke, I'm sorry group leader Jiang, I had some matters to attend to with my brother this afternoon, my brother is now going over with me. Thank you for your good intentions. Waiting till she hung up the phone, Li Jingjing apologetically smiled and said, that was my English group leader calling, today's gathering is organized by him. He said he went to school to pick me up but I wasn't there, and I told him you are going there with me, and he approved. That group leader of yours was a man, right? Yang Chen's ears were sensitive, and could obviously tell that the man's voice on the phone was somewhat unhappy. Yep, Li Jingjing lowered her head. Is he wooing you? Yang Chen playfully asked. Li Jingjing hurriedly shook her head, and spoke in a panicked manner, there's nothing between him and me, big brother Yang, I even distributed the flowers he gave me to the other female teachers, one for each person. Yang Chen didn't know whether to laugh or to cry, the girl's cute thoughts made him extremely tempted to pinch her cheeks, I think you're the one who shouldn't let your imaginations run wild. Let's go, don't let them wait for too long. Chapter 60 I'm not alone in this Dao you are listening at novelfull.audio. As Yang Chin expected, the sky was already dim and it was nearly 6 p.m. when they arrived at Heavenly Province even though he constantly overtook other cars on the road. Li Jingjing didn't feel anything inappropriate about that. Throughout the whole journey, she sat at the front wearing a smile, and secretly glanced at Yang Chen from time to time, it was unknown what she had on her mind. Heavenly Province's main entrance seemed incredibly imposing, and the dazzling splendor of the neon lights made all of the surrounding bars and nightclubs look inferior in comparison, the several huge flamboyant words that were lit up stole gazes even from far. Li Jingjing clung onto Yang Chen's arm immediately after she got off the car, and followed him through the main entrance with a perturbed expression. She, who had always been a well-behaved girl would get scared even if she saw a place like this in a movie. Once she thought about how she was going to party with the other teachers in this place, and she was the main attraction, she began to feel a little dread in her heart. Don't worry, it's actually not a big deal, just think of it as having a meal together in a small restaurant. Yang Chen consoled. Li Jingjing nodded, as she breathed she could smell the scent of the man beside her, and subconsciously, her heart became much calmer. After entering the main entrance, a female receptionist airing a fiery dot red chipao walked towards them and inquired, Honored guests, do you have an appointment? 
Li Jingjing who had lost focus only now recalled the location of the party, it's. It's a room named Scarlet Kaffir Lily. The female receptionist smiled and gestured welcomingly, please follow me. Along the way, they walked through a corridor that was dimly lit, with glass. Esque walls that refracted a dazzling luster. The employees here wasn't lacking in handsome men or beautiful women, which showed that the treatment of employees wasn't bad. When they walked to the door with the three words, Scarlet Kaffir Lily, written in white with a brush, the female receptionist smiled and gestured them to enter. Yang Chen fished out a $100 note from his pocket, and the female receptionist with an unsurprised face said, thank you, before accepting the note and leaving. Li Jingjing looked at Yang Chen with astonishment, Big Brother Yang, is it necessary to pay $100 just for leading the way? A place like this usually follows a Western-style hiring method, these service personnel have no pay, and only receive tips. In fact, it's only a little more than $10 in USD, and it isn't considered a lot. Yang Chen explained. I nearly forgot, Big Brother Yang you're a student that returned from studying overseas. Li Jingjing couldn't care less about the pain of money anymore, and happily spoke. Yang Chen wasn't willing to stay on that topic, and dexterously opened the room's door, the moment it opened, a deafening shout transmitted out from inside the room. Wanna remain but can't remain and that's what feels loneliest. Dot, dot they saw a rather short and fat man with glasses standing in front of the TV doing his utmost to shout into the microphone in his hand, with his head pointed towards the ceiling and his eyes shut singing to his heart's content. There were already quite a number of people sitting on the sofa in the room, if added up, there were at least eight people. After seeing Yang Chen and Li Jingjing by the door, they first stared blankly, then most of them revealed unusual smiles. Our main protagonist of the day has finally arrived. A skinny female teacher with wavy hair from using heat rollers took the initiative to call out. Immediately, Everybody else present stood up and applauded. The fat teacher that was screaming like he was killing a pig a moment ago also called out, Teacher Lee didn't forget to bring her boyfriend for her first party, looks like your relationship is pretty deep. Li Jingjing promptly let go of Yang Chen's hand timidly. In the dark room, her face was so red that it seemed like it was about to burst, it's not like what everybody is thinking, Big Brother Yang isn't my boyfriend. Then what is he? Another male teacher laughed and asked, he can't possibly be your blood-related brother, right? Seeing Jingjing look so anxious, and unable to speak a word, Yang Chen could only take the lead and explain, Jingjing's father and I are bosom friends despite the age gap, and I have taken care of her like a big brother. Today, I coincidentally heard that everybody wanted to hold a welcome party, and that she was too shy to come to a KTV alone, and so I'm merely here to accompany her. A female teacher that dressed up nicely chuckled and said, so that is what happened, come and sit by my side handsome, teacher Li probably wouldn't mind, right? As she said that she winked at Li Jingjing. The moment Li Jingjing heard that, she subconsciously shook her head, no can do, big brother Yang must stay by my side. Once those words were spoken, everyone let out kind laughs, Yang Chen also helplessly looked at the flustered Li Jingjing who blushed with shame, this girl is really skilled at making things worse. Li Jingjing was no exception, she didn't think much of it, and timidly lowered her head to say, thank you. Just as the atmosphere within the room became harmonious, the door was opened once again. A man in his early twenties wearing a J. Press shirt walked in. His hair was neatly combed, along with a sharply contoured face, a rough glance revealed that he had the temperament of a brave scholar. Upon seeing this person enter, all the teachers began greeting him as, Department Head Jiang. The man greeted the teachers with a warm smile before looking towards Yang Chen and Li Jingjing. Upon seeing Li Jingjing covered in fashionable clothes and her long slender legs revealed by the hot pants like white jade, excitement flashed in his eyes, and he praised, Jingjing, you're really pretty today. If you dressed like this in school every day, I reckon all the teachers and students will have their eyes on you. The other teachers all agreed, and complimented how beautiful and attractive Li Jingjing's attire was. Such praise was a little exaggerated, but all women enjoyed others praising their beauty. 
When he looked at Yang Chen, the man's eyes narrowed for a moment before he warmly stretched his hand out, you must be the one mentioned by Jingjing earlier, Mr. Yang. I'm Jiang Shua, Yi Zhong's English department's head. May I know, how should I address you, and where does an elite like you work? Yang Chen internally murmured, another smiling man with evil intentions, and unconcernedly went forward to shake hands, I'm Yang Chen, you can call me whatever you like, I'm just a small employee in a company that buys breakfast and does odd jobs. Once he heard this, a light shone in Jiang Shua's eyes, and he straightened his back. With some stubbornness and arrogance he said, Mr. Yang need not be modest, we are still young, as long as you work hard, in the future there will definitely be a day you can succeed. Perhaps you can become someone like I, named Jiang who had a higher starting point. Oh right, Mr. Yang might not know of this, but my father, Mr. Jiang Meng, is the headmaster of Yi Zhong and the vice chief of Zhong Hai's Department of Education. It is by taking advantage of my father's connections that I managed to become Yi Zhong's English department head and vice head of the teaching department. I feel ashamed to say that other than publishing a few theses in the country's textbooks and bringing a team overseas for some interviews on a few occasions, I haven't done anything noteworthy. Perhaps in the future, Mr. Yang's achievements would even be greater than mine. Department head Jiang is being overly modest. Amongst us, who is unaware that department head Jiang is our school, Yi Zhong's hope for the future, and the most impressive rising star in the academic world. A middle-aged female teacher swiftly stated. That's right. The skinny female teacher also chimed in, who knows, perhaps in a few more years department head Jiang would become our school's headmaster. In terms of capability, who can compare with department head Jiang? All the teachers had actually sung a whole bunch of praises all at once, while Jiang Shua was instead, modestly, smiling, waving his hand saying, I don't deserve your praise. Yang Chen had truly witnessed an eye dot opener, and rubbed his nose to cover his smile. I've seen shameless people, but I've never met someone even more shameless than me. Seems like I'm not alone in this Tao, at the very least, there's this chap in front of me whose skin is thicker than the city wall.